Jeff Miller, a real estate developer, lives on a quiet residential street in Georgetown with his wife and three kids. Their house is everything you'd expect from a typical Georgetown residence, except for one thing. Miller has eight beehives on his roof. With the help of his family, Miller keeps the hives running smoothly throughout the year, and he helps other Washingtonians start their own urban hives with the nonprofit organization he founded, DC Honeybees. Miller says he created the group in part because of the economic recession, which left him with more time on his hands. I was always very interested in food and growing my own food and then have a little garden out back, which was not being pollinated as well as I would have liked. So got to uh, learn a little bit more about the importance of pollinators, especially in the urban environment, and bought my first hive just on a whim without talking to anybody, including my wife. His wife was concerned at first about the amount of time, money, and energy he was investing in the bees, which were a hobby. But as Miller kept working on the hives, involving his kids in the project and teaching them about bees, she relented. I think she's uh, sort of sees the benefits not only to my own personality and my and my relaxation, my able to uh, focus on something else besides uh, the stresses of, of everyday work, and also be, to be able to include the kids in the process has uh, has turned her around on that. The Millers have a second house in Rhode Island with an expanded garden, where they're experimenting with bee pollination on a larger scale. But in their small backyard garden in Georgetown, they focus on vegetables they use in everyday cooking. What were the types of fruits and vegetables you were growing when you realized the importance of pollination? The tomatoes were getting a, some wind pollination benefits, but, uh, 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 but the peppers were the ones that were, were having the biggest problems. And so that's where it sort of got me doing some research on the internet to see why they may not have been popping as much. On the roof of his house, Miller explains that the bees are unusually active for this time of year. It's just under 50 degrees, but because of the reflective heat off the roof, it's gotten, it's woken the hives up and they've been out collecting pollen. While colony collapse disorder is a big problem for commercial beekeeping facilities, Miller says urban hobbyist beekeepers face a different normally problem. Most, uh, normally in the last few years, not in our case, but in some people's cases, uh, about a third of their bees have died over winter. In, in our case, all of our hives have survived. Beekeeping yields another benefit outside of pollination as well, honey. But we can collect up to 100 pounds of honey per hive. So to put that in perspective, 100 pounds of honey is about uh, three five-gallon buckets worth of honey. We could have 800 pounds of honey just on this rooftop. Miller and his family intend to sell their honey to local restaurants and at farmers markets this season. But for now, they enjoy the complex taste of urban-made honey in their own kitchen.